Um, hello, my name is uh, David Bolton, and uh, I'm really grateful and honored to be here and to have a chance to talk with you. So I thank uh, the, the president of the University of Chicago and my friend Yang for, uh, for having us here. Um, I thought I'd start off by saying that I've been in China for about, before I do anything else. I'd like to say, because of our language difference, and I don't speak Chinese, and I know that most of you speak English better than most people in China, but still may not speak English well enough, or listen to English well enough to understand me, that if I say something that you don't understand, let me know, and we'll stop and go into it. I don't need to be here to tell you anything. I don't have an, an agenda. There's nothing that I want to cover or present that's more important than learning together and con making contact with each other. So if there's something that I say that you want to understand but don't understand, raise your hand or some way get my attention, and we'll talk more about it So we do, OK? All right, so that's number one. All right. Um, and the reason for that I'll explain as I talk. Um, I've been in China for about a month. I came here initially as part of a uh, delegation of senators from California and New York, where I have been, hello. <laughs> where I was a uh, science and technology advisor to a uh, exchange between um, different cities in China and the state of California and the state of New York in the United States. And so I've uh, toured China. I started in uh, Beijing and then went to Nanjing and then Shuzhou and then Shanghai and then back to Shuzhou. Forgive me if I say these words wrong, okay? I do my best. Um, and then uh, have uh, toured some of the southern cities like Guilin and Dali. Zhang and Kuming. And, uh, and throughout my travels here in China, I have been thoroughly um, enjoying myself. I've loved the people that I've met and the uh, innocent, um, friendly, warm spirit of the Chinese people everywhere that I've went. So I'm really happy to be here, and uh, um, I start from that. My work has been. Um, the development of learning systems for both education and for government and for businesses. Um, but I'll explain learning systems as I go. Partly it has to do with uh, software, computer software, and partly to do with um, new ways to think about learning, how human beings learn. So as I come here today to talk with you, um, <clears throat> because your speciality has to do with medicine, right? I'm not coming here to tell you anything about medicine. <laughs> what I am coming to tell you about, or to talk with you about, is learning. How human beings learn. How organizations learn. How systems learn. How technology can help people learn, right? And that this is relevant to you as people, not as students, per se, and not as doctors, per se. I, I'm not coming to teach or talk about medicine, okay? So, um, <clears throat> it's my belief, and the belief of people that I work with in the United States, that there is nothing that is more generally relevant to helping individual human beings or the organizations that they work in governments, businesses, hospitals, universities, then helping people learn better. Right? But there's nothing that we can do for each other that's more powerful than helping each other learn better. That there's nothing that we can do that's less presumptuous. Do you know the word presumptuous? No. Okay. Um, <clears throat> When we meet each other for the first time, I have a, you, you know the word assumption? Assumption? Assumption. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, if you know the word assumption, maybe you can help everybody else understand. Can you? Assumption? Yes, yes, assumption. Yeah, that's the right way to spell it. But it means like, if I have an idea about you, right? It's not who you are. You are something different. That's just my assumption, right? It's just my assumption. Right. So there's ne when I say about learning, helping each other learn, there's nothing that we can do that has less assumption and yet has more power to help one another than help each other learn. Right. That learning is where the most profound aspects of being a human being, most profound, Right? 